top of the morning you guys welcome to the morning slide lesson that's not gonna be no real funny ass morning you guys because you have asked me to review this um two deaths of the sam cook story on netflix y'all ready to talk about it here we go it's gonna be a deep one First off, the timing of this documentary is like impeccable because I don't even think that they teach black history like they used to teach it in um, schools in the 80s. I remember being traumatized by the eyes on the prize. Do y'all remember the eyes on the prize? It was a documentary about the civil rights movement and what the black founding fathers and the civil rights leaders went through so that we can have the freedoms that we have today. That was the first time I heard about Emma Till, which was talked about in this movie about Sam Cooke. Um, and that's honestly what got him. I mean, that was one of the many things. But in the Emma Till story shocked everybody. And I don't think that they even let our children see the eyes on the prize and it's not just about black kids knowing about the civil rights movement it's about all the kids i remember when i was in school uh when i got to maryland schools when i was in dc schools they was teaching us about christopher columbus and shit and he discovered america and when i got to maryland schools <laughs> When I got over in the Merlins, I had some black militant, um, back to Africa ass goddamn teachers. They was like, fuck Christopher Columbus. They don't, I don't even think they celebrate Columbus Day in Merlin. They was like, fuck Christopher Columbus. We about to teach you about some real ass shit. And bitch, they showed us Rosewood. I say, oh shit. <laughs> bitch, when I'm trying to tell you every goddamn Caucasian child in the classroom was scared as fuck coming up out that goddamn classroom. <laughs> Bitch. I ain't never seen some movies that made me hate white people so much. But at the same time, it did show you that there were many Caucasian people that helped us. So, and after, and thank God, like the teachers that I had in the Merlin. Shout out to my good teachers. Mr. Phillips, how you doing? Um... Uh, Miss Smith, the best computer teachers in all in all the computer business. How you doing, girl? It's your world. Excuse me, Mr. Muhammad. I forgot it was this this other lady that used to teach us in middle school. She had this little piercing in her nose. That was the first time I seen that before. But girl, you was everything too. What was your name is? Girl, it's your world. Okay, listen, my teachers in the Merlins was everything. I, the good thing about those teachers is. It was about social dialogue. Like they wanted us to talk about how we felt about watching those movies. Not just amongst them. I mean, because in Maryland, it was black kids, it was Hispanic kids, it was Asian kids, it was um, co um, Caucasian kids in there. It was like a very mixed group of kids. And, you know, so let me get to Sam Cook. So the way I feel about Sam Cook. The government seen three powerful people, Sam Cooke, who had his voice in music, which was in households amongst all America, and he was a crossover artist. So he was loved amongst many. Muhammad Ali, athlete, loved amongst many with this militant black man, Malcolm X. To the government, that is a dangerous combination and you see that one by one if they were not assassinated they were thrown in jail like animals because they were standing up for their rights after slaving themselves in the entertainment industry being beat to the point where it's caused brain damage for Muhammad Ali now. But I'm going to digress on that. And that's why certain sports I would never allow my black son to participate in. Basketball, we can do basketball. Football, boxing, never. My, my son would not be put out there for this 
blade to destroy his body. It, it's just not happening. But anyway, worst part of the whole story is that he lost his child. And then to be murdered. And a black woman corroborate the story. That he was like out there trying to get a fucking hooker or whatever. Like, bruh, like, that bitch should be ashamed for, of herself. And it just shows you how low certain people, like, money is the root of all evil. People would do anything. They would sell their soul for money. And I can only imagine how the rest of that lady, that black woman's life was after her lying on Sam Cook and setting that man up like that because that black woman I believe if they didn't just use her to try to corroborate the lie I believe that she had something to do with the setup of his death and how they tarnished his name make it seem like this this man who carried himself with such high respect such moral such dignity it was a pillar in our community and was trying to create change. This man said F the music industry. He created his own label and was successful in his own right and has a song that people still sing today. It's been a long time coming because I know a change going to come. That song is still sung. If anyone wants to sing, uh, uh, win a singing competition and you want to reach somebody hot, go and sing some goddamn Sam Cook. It's been a long time coming. Come on now. They killed this man and Malcolm X and Martin Luther King before they could even really have the impact on the world that they were supposed to. They took this man, Sam Cook, in his death, and they tarnished and they dragged his name like he was this womanizer that was cheating on his wife and was sleeping with hookers and got murdered in some seedy ass whole fucking tale. Like, how dare you? And, and, and it's like, does anybody really, 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 really know what really, really happened? Because, like, I'm still like, what really happened other than the fact that he was set up? Like, I would really love for some of the forensic scientists of today, what, what we know today, to be able to go back on some of these crime scenes and try to figure out what the fuck really happened. Because I know that they could probably figure some shit out. But this is an atrocity, honestly. I just knew of Sam Cooke's song. I knew nothing of his death, how he died, who he was connected with, the whole conspiracy behind it all. And now that I know this, and this was a black history education moment for me. Um, it does make me kind of look back at people in their arguments when they say with Bill Cosby and with um oh who who else is it that's going through something right now oh um 21 savage excuse me because 21 savage is speaking out and he's trying to get woke and he's using his music now for better and things like that and he's speaking out on certain things that they don't want you to be woke they want you to be ignorant and talk about sipping lean and fucking bitches and just doing ignorant shit that's trying to tear down our community like as soon as you start doing that you're a problem in regards to bill cosby though i most definitely think that bill cosby is not innocent i i think that he was doing something he was doing something and the thing is is that you know what they say in the industry especially i don't even want to say the word but the you know what they be saying about the motherfuckers is that in order for you to get in to win, you know, they got to have some dividends. They got to get they got to get some 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 stacks on you. You understand? They got to have some dirt on you. You going to have to pay in some type of flesh of a way in order for you to get past the gate. Because if you ever try to goddamn act stupid, 
they gonna pull out them receipts on your ass to get your ass back in line. Sim Simmer, who got the keys to the Bema? Who am I? The gal dumb sugar. <laughs> Mr. Cosby, Dr. Cosby thought he was out there being the girl them sugar. He was being Mr. Pill Cosby, okay? And as soon as he took his ass out there and tried to go against NBC and try to create his own network, they said, oh, hold on, little nigga. Sim Simma, who got the keys to the bimmer? They had the keys to the motherfucking goddamn receipts that you was out there being Mr. Pill Cosby. You can't be out there playing in the goddamn devil's world and think that they won't get out there and twist and twirl with you, girl. Come on now. See, Bill Cosby was doing fucked up shit. You understand? And then he tried to go against the powers that be. And then they said, I'm going to make sure that you see who the fuck you playing with. You better sit your ass down. And he ain't sit his ass down. Well, actually, what he did is he went around talking all this shit about black people trying to tear down the community in that way that's why i'm fuck once bill cosby started going around and start talking all this shit and putting black people down instead of trying to find ways to enrich us that's why i said fuck bill cosby so before all of this shit about him being mr Bill cosby was into play i was already saying fuck bill cosby so when all of this shit happened i wasn't even surprised but in regards to the sam cook thing i can definitely see what they're saying now when they see you getting woke and when they see you fighting against the powers of you trying to stay up and you trying to do something to uplift your community are you not just out there shucking and jiving and motherfucking? Go, go ahead, nigga. Go sing it, entertain us and shit. Yeah, nigga. Go run that football, nigga. Go get on the TV and make us laugh, nigga. Well, you ain't doing that and you using your voice to enrich and empower your people. Your fucking problem. And it's so sad because... All of them people were so young. Bill Cosby, Malcolm X, um, Sam Cook. And I'm going to encourage y'all to watch that movie and really find out. And if you haven't watched um, The Eyes on the Prize, watch that shit, man. Let me try to tell you, that shit fucked me up when I was young. But I needed to see that. Like, all black people need to see The Eyes on the Prize why do they not show that shit in school anymore? I mean, maybe because it's, you know, today's society, they extra sensitive as fuck. You know what I'm saying? But if you go and watch this shit in school, because they was showing us that shit in elementary school. Make sure that you do. I mean, no, nah, they, did they show us? No, nah, I think they showed this shit to us in middle school. They showed it to us in middle school. Make sure you do like our teachers did in the good old Merlins, in the state of the Merlins. And sit down and have dialogue. And... Actually, my teachers, they talk to the white um, students first. You know what I'm saying? They talk to the white students first to find out how they felt about the shit like that. And um, it's just sad because, you know, a lot of racism is taught at home. It really is. And then when these kids get into these classes and you're able to show them different and show them that all, you know, uh, white kids can show black kids we're not bad. I am not my mom. I am not my father. I am not the people before me. I'm cool as shit. I'm poor just like you. I'm out here struggling. Let's go out here and play and do what the fuck. We're kids. Kids. And it's fucked up that even in black households, a lot of black people teach racism to their kids too. And it's sad. And like on both ends, we got to stop this shit. We have to stop this shit because these Beautiful lives didn't have a chance because of fucking racism. And I really do feel like they are trying to bring up the ways of yesteryears in regards to racism and like civil rights and just, I don't know what they're trying to do. I really don't know what they're trying to do, but we need to educate ourselves about what happened in the past. Educate yourself, educate your children so they can understand the freedoms that they have. And I just try to teach my son, you can't be out here acting like no fucking fool. You are a black man. Do you understand? And it's like sometimes I feel bad because I don't mean to have these harsh talks with him. But because he's only five. But at the same time, like, no. We got to teach our children about our history, you guys. We really do. 
Um, I love you guys. I didn't mean to have this. Um, because I know you guys are normally used to a light conversation, but it can't be light all the time. Sometimes we gotta talk about some that was wild. I couldn't believe it that black woman would do that to Sam Cook. Like I, I can't even believe just some people really just make me shake my head and it don't have nothing to do about color. It has to do about the character and the soul of the person. Cause there's some real wicked, evil people out here. It's really sad that people will do anything for money. It really is. And it hurts my heart that Sam Cooke died that way. Because he did have a light on him. And he had a beautiful voice. And he just got that um, record label. And he was just starting. He was budding a relationship with Muhammad Ali and with Malcolm X. And he was really about to like let his voice voice soar and his light was was put out prematurely and um I can only imagine what that woman has suffered and has gone through knowing that she had something to do with the death of Sam Cook. Some people out here in this world are really wicked. Really wicked. That just goes to show you when you out here and you're trying to do right. The devil be working hard. But you got to work harder and you got to be smarter. Pay attention to the people that you got around you. Don't just allow any fucking body around you. Do you hear me? Especially when you know you got a mission on you and you try and do something right. And you try to move to enrich your people. And you got that faith of God that's moving you and stuff. And God is changing and moving things in your life and opening up doors for you to so you so that you can use your voice and that you can use the strength and the power that you have not only to help yourself but to help others. <laughs> the powers that be do not want you to have your light shine because it'll weaken them. Be careful of the people you allow in your circle. That black woman was sent over there purposely because she was black. And he probably didn't think that a black woman. A black woman. And him being Sam Cook would do anything to hurt him like that. And you can't just trust anybody. Because people will sell their damn soul for some fucking money. And it's a goddamn shame. Your own people had something the fuck to do with the murder of Sam Cook. Y'all, I love y'all. Um, if y'all want me to review anything else, y'all go ahead and hit me in the comment sections. Y'all let me know what y'all feel about that movie, um, that documentary. Y'all go watch the Eyes on the Prize. I love y'all. Thank whoever, um, I forgot who this was that suggested me to review this. Shout out to you. I love you, boo. You know who you, who you are. I love you, boo. And I love y'all.